Tonight, still no explanation about why police in Newark did not find that suspect until late this morning. They have been searching the building in Newark since the shooting happened early yesterday afternoon. Charges against 30 year old Kendall Howard include attempted murder. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live in Newark tonight with our lead story. Tony. And Liz and Bill, law enforcement from so many different departments filled this area of Bergen Avenue outside the hospital to send that officer home. Now, of course, the Essex County Prosecutor's Office and Newark Police have an extended investigation beginning into how this shooting happened. This is the scene at University Hospital as Officer Jabril Paul is being released, a convoy of colleagues. The second officer will spend a few more days in care. Both of them are doing well. Both have 1.5 years on the job. 1.5 years and they have to do with a traumatic incident like this. Five hours earlier, what hundreds of officers spent nearly a day trying to do was done. Newscopter 7 overhead as 30-year-old Kendall Howard was taken from the building where he was accused of firing at the two officers yesterday, hitting one in the leg, the other in the neck. We are in the midst of this long and a very arduous investigation. Um, so we're not able to determine fully what's happened. We have him in custody and, and we're speaking with him now. At a press conference this afternoon, we learned that a woman at the scene at Chancellor Avenue and Van Velser rendered aid to the officers immediately after they were fired upon as other officers helped get them out of the line of fire. The woman who got out of her car uh, and tried to stop the bleeding of an officer and helped drag him to safety. Uh, in the middle of what might have been a gunfight. We can see and hear the shots being fired, and they're there bending over trying to drag this officer to safety. This is the true collaboration and the support that we have from the community. The officers rushing their injured colleagues to University Hospital a day later, a hero's honor and relief that both will go home to the families of the officers. We thank you for your support, uh, for, your, for, for, for your presence, uh, and for lean, loaning us uh, your family members to come out here and protect 311,000 residents who they probably don't even know. Uh, we, we thank you. Governor Murphy was also here at the hospital to see that officer home again. Kendall Howard now facing two counts of attempted murder and weapons charges. His first day in court is set to be tomorrow.